Hey guys, it's the RGD man here today. We are looking at a Genie track drive model GS 900. Right out of the gate, you're going to notice something a little bit weird about this opener. Look at the bottom, you will see that it has the bubble for a motion detecting light, uh, as well as programming buttons. And it takes photo eyes. That does not seem right one bit. Uh, basically, Garage Door Guy 89 gets the credit for this uh, because he was the first one to do it. Uh, but then uh, I went ahead and made a Genie uh, using Genie parts and made a DC track drive as well. Uh, the other modification that I made to mine, uh, if you look, you'll see that this uses a different tape. Uh, this is the standard punch from Dimetrol, uh, which is the company that makes the Genie track drive tapes, uh, or did make them at one time. Uh, but this is their standard mechanical drive tape. I put in a different pulley uh, or a sprocket there on top and uh, had to modify the drive housing a little bit in order so it would accept this tape. Uh, but essentially this tape is better because of the smaller holes uh, and there's more of them. It allows uh, a bit better flex when it's going through the housing. So it's not quite as likely to uh, wear out. I've got here the overhead door remote, uh, of course, you know, rolling code remote, programmed up to this unit. Let's go ahead and run the door. The drive does make a little bit of noise. My sprockets, I don't know if they're not quite lined up perfect or uh, what the deal with that is, I can try to show you here. Uh, so basically I did a similar thing to what he did. I uh, had uh, sprockets going through, uh, driven down off the motor uh, inside. And then of course that drives the track drive housing. Uh, the screws that are in the housing are holding a shim inside of there. Uh, like I said, I had to modify the housing to accept a different sprocket uh, so that I could use the tape that I have in there. Let's go ahead and run this down. So there we have that. Door is making a ton of noise. I need to service that thing. Uh, but yeah, the speeds on this are adjustable. Uh, and of course, so I did modify my case. Uh, I set limits and stuff without having to take it apart. Uh, and then in the side up here, uh, I just, whoops, watch your step on that. I just uh, cut a little hole for the quick connect terminals uh, so I can wire up uh, the stuff right there on the side. Uh, Let's go ahead and run this one more time. Very smooth unit though. And we'll run that back down. There you have it. Uh, as always, check back, like, subscribe to the channel.